Hi everyone, I'm sharing a quick tutorial on how to interact with Google Sheets from OBS. I have some Google Sheet here with a few values that I put in. And I would like to display these values in OBS, but particularly I want this to live update inside OBS when I change them, for example, like that. It updates immediately in OBS. This is done using an API call to Google Sheets. Google Sheets expose an API to fetch values from the sheet as long as the sheet is shared. There is an API endpoint where you can fetch any range of values from the sheet as long as you have the spreadsheet ID and the range. The spreadsheet ID is very simple to find. It's in the URL of the spreadsheet. The range will simply be the cell number or a range like that, which you can get from here. To run this API call, you will need to get an API key. I will link in the show notes how to obtain the API key using Google's Getting Started tutorials. Let's see how this is done in OBS. I'm setting up a URL API source. This is going to call the URL from the Google Guide. I will also link this in the show notes with the spreadsheet ID and the cell that you want to get. Notice that you have to put in your API key on the request. As soon as you have this set up, it's a GET request. You can just go ahead and test it and see what you get. In this case, we're getting the value 15. In my parsing, I'm using JSON values 0, 0, so I can fetch it from the response body, values 0, 0. Once I have the request set up, I can do things like adding style or color, or extra things to the output for formatting. The same works for fetching a range. In this case, I'm taking the entire relevant area of the sheet. So it's returning everything that's on the sheet as an array. Notice I'm only getting values here. And then on the output, I'm going to create an HTML table that goes over the values and presents them. But we can also fetch individual values. There you have it. It's a very simple way of using Google Sheets inside OBS. And you can have this open outside of your stream and update things as they progress and the values would be reflected in your OBS immediately. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.